I have some great news. I am now an Oregon real estate agent. And that means I can help you buy and sell homes in the state of Oregon. And so for the title of this video, my viewers in California and overseas, I'm going to give you guys my pitch on why you should move here. And at the end, I'll tell you why you should have me be your agent. If you currently already live in Oregon, well, you might want me to be your agent and I'll help you move somewhere better, somewhere you like more. Or you can sell your house and leave the state. Well, on to our first reason. The number one reason why you should move to Oregon is because of all the weather and the forest and the nature. You'll never know after you walk around in the forest for a while. After hiking for about a mile, I came across this. And if you're wondering, no, this isn't free real estate. The number one complaint I hear about Oregon is that it rains too much. And if that's what you have to say, I highly recommend checking out Bend. Bend is in the high desert, it's a little warmer and a little colder, but it doesn't rain anywhere near as much. There's also southern Oregon you can go to as well, and it's much more similar to California. Right now I'm currently in Forest Park, and it's the biggest park in the country. It's bigger than any other park in any other state. Another reason why you should move to Oregon is you can find forests like this everywhere. Forest is never too far away, unlike in California where forests are in small parts and even then it's still in a fire hazard. Another reason why you guys should move to Oregon is because no matter where you go in Oregon, the food is fantastic. Look at this. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, whoa, I think this is Filipino pork adobo with an egg on top. I've never seen it like that before. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. Uh, and another thing I've never seen is, at this place they give you so much food that you need a rubber band to keep it closed, all right? And then look at this, whoa, wow. So this right here is one of my favorite foods. It's galbi, it's Korean pork spare, ri spare ribs. Korean pork spare ribs. And then this is their specialty. It's another Korean inspired dish called meat jun. And I'm about to eat this, it looks fantastic. All right, so you guys are about to see it here first. I'm about to try this. Oh, he smells my food. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's all right. You know, I'll try something new first. This is the this is the meat gin. Let's see what it's like. Never had it before. Interesting. It's like it's like a flank steak, but it's breaded in egg, and it's good. Mmm, a little sweet too. And then next, I'll try the Filipino pork adobo fried rice with egg. That one, really, really good. Wow, wow. No wonder this is one of the best places in the city. Had to go for two. And then, last one I'll try is galbi. These cuts are pretty fatty, but it is what it is. Oh, take a look at that. You know what, no sticks for this one. Man, Oregon really just doesn't mess around. You can go anywhere, no matter what the size of the city, and you'll find fantastic food. Some of the best food I've ever had was when I went to the bay on the hottest day in the history of Portland. It was only 65 degrees down there when it was 115 up here, and I had Thai curry served to me inside of coconut. Amazing, fantastic. They gave me the coconut juice as well. So good. Mmm. I would say the only thing that would make this meal better is you, my good viewer. Mm. Well, I am going to head back soon. My roommate has another plate right here, and he's waiting for me. So Willie, what are some reasons why you think people should move to Oregon? It depends what kind of weather you like. If you like hot weather, don't come here. If you like diverse food everywhere, come here. No sales tax, but the caveat is higher taxes in other areas. However, overall, there's just so much more to do here in this area. I wouldn't say Oregon in general. I would say just this Portland metro area for sure. There's just beach, beach to the left, hour and 20, hour 30. Mountains to the right, you can go up north. If you want cooler weather, you can go Canada. There's just so much to do. So much to see. The people are cool. Honestly, yeah, that's that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, so Willie's about to eat my adobo pork fried rice. All right, here it goes. Cheers. Wow. That shit's fine. Here's the egg. Oh. And then look, this is his combo. He got the poke, he and he got the meat gin as well. Oh yeah. Hmm. So good. Best wine food in Portland by far. What's the name of the place? Rhine with tries. 
Tristan's our boy. What do you think, Willie? Is does Oregon have the best food in America? That's a bold claim, man. But I do think it has a better food than most places. I would agree. Me too, not bad. Never had anything like this before. For me, it seemed like the like the flank steak from carne asada, but covered in egg. It reminds me of. What does this remind me of? Something, something familiar. But yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. Mmm. Yeah, it's hitting spot. Yeah, I didn't get their best dish, the Hawaiian nachos, because. Those are best eaten fresh. We live about 20 minutes away from this spot. The next thing we need to talk about is price. Oregon is significantly cheaper than California. I would say cheaper for just about everything. Groceries, rent, there's no sales tax here. Look at, the, look at this house right here in Sacramento. This is $700,000. And yes, it is in a good location. But if you look at this house over here, this is in Portland, close to one of the best streets, close to Division Street, Close to Division, close to Division Street, which has some of the best restaurants in the whole entire city. The one in Portland, around three hundred thousand dollars cheap. And now let's talk about why you should choose me to be your agent. Well, if you choose me to be your agent, I'll be there for you around the clock, there for you with anything you need. And I've been here a year now, so I'm somewhat of a local expert. I know where all the best restaurants are, all the best parks are. I know about the schools here. I know about the cities here. I know which places are safe, which places are not safe. Usually when you think of a real estate agent, it's just someone to help you buy a house. But for me, I want to be much more than that. I want to be someone that will help you find a community and help you with one of the biggest purchases of your entire life. All right, now I'm going to tell you why I decide to become a real estate agent. So my degree, as you know if you see my video, is about business management and finance. And when I turned 21, I started working Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. And I loved the freedom that it brought, and I loved that I didn't have a boss, and I was free to do my own thing. And with real estate, it's much similar. It's not hourly, it's all commission. And so I strongly feel that if you work hourly, you don't have to give it your best effort and you'll get paid no matter what. But in real estate, you have to be the best because it's about trust. And like I mentioned earlier, it's about one of the biggest purchases of your entire life. I would never be a real estate agent that's like, um, oh, client's calling, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Or like, oh, I have like 10 clients right now. Bobby's more important than Billy over here. I'm not gonna ignore any of them. I would say one moment, I'd call him and say, I can get back to you in a few minutes and then get back to get back to the task at hand. In conclusion, if I'm your real estate agent, I will always be there for you. I'm a local expert. I'll help you with anything you need. I'll be able to explain the contracts to you. I'll be able to tell you the pros and cons of any situation. I'll be able to tell you where the, where the best neighborhoods are. Another thing is that I'll never pressure you either because I know it's not in your best interest. A lot of people in sales, yes, real estate is a type of sales, will always try and pressure someone into buying or doing things quickly. But for me, I'm, I'll do what's best for you. I'm working for you more than I'm working for anyone else. And that is why you should come to Oregon and choose me to be a real estate agent. I'll see you guys in the next video.